Hi Aquarius, I'm just doing a quick reading for you. Um, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, what we have coming in for career and finances is the three of wands. This is like the best card, one of the best cards you can have. Um, Aquarius, what, everything that you have done up until this time is going to pay off. Um, if you have been doing the work, if you are an Aquarius who has been putting in work, whatever it may mean for you at your job, at your business, uh, the business of you creating a business, branding, whatever it may be, it says that you're on the brink of a successful completion to this project. You're going to get some green light here that allows you to move forward. Uh, to celebrate, to treat others out, to to um, be even more generous in terms of loved ones, um, just success. You're going to have very high esteem of yourself um, because you made this happen in the three of wands. In career finance, it's the only sector that doesn't have um, a major arcana in it. You have done the work. You're going to see expansion. You're going to see growth. You're going to see enterprise in whatever it is you're doing because you you planned, you executed, um, and now you're going to see uh, all of your plans, um, your execution come together. You're going to see something come to fruition, manifestation for you. Um, this is very good. You're also waiting for communication, waiting to, you put something out there and now you're waiting to get the approval, the sign, okay, to sign something, an approval, a contract, some documentation uh, so that you can move forward. Some of you, this is looking for a new place to live. Um, this is, yeah, looking at real estate, if you will, um, something of that nature. But it's definitely expanding your territory, expanding what you're doing. You could be looking at cars. You could be compared in contrast, uh, waiting for things to come back. Maybe have put out finance applications for business, car, home, whatever. Um, and you're just waiting for that, that seal, that stamp of approval. And it looks like you will get it, Aquarius. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the strength card. It says, hold on, persevere, see it through. The strength card, the eight, talks about large sums of money, taxes, liens, uh, okay, taxes, liens, loans, investments, um, inheritance, 401k, uh, savings. Um, it talks about other people's money too. So this definitely could be in the realm of getting loans or getting a loan um, so that you can move forward. It says tame your emotions here because things are working together for you. And some of you are, you know, you're, you're at a place of being tame. You're holding back. There's a lot of excitement within you uh, and, it, and for good reason. But at the same time, it says tame your emotions. It's going to work out. Everything will uh, fall in place for you um, because of this cycle that you've been on. This uh, wash, rinse, repeat over and over again. Um, you're going to see some fruition, something come to fruition, something, something come to manifestation. You've done the work um, and it's time that you see uh, you reap the fruits of your labor here. It also says be prudent. Watch where your money is going, how you're spending it too. Just because you have it doesn't mean just spend it all. Just because you can make it back tomorrow or next week or the next month doesn't mean spend it. Oh, watch where your money is going, okay? Uh, in love and romance, you have the Hierophant, a good card to have. Uh, the Hierophant, you know, it's the Hebrew letter Wa, V, or, or and. So it's like a lot of times people can derive a marriage and traditional coming together because it's, they'll say you and, or the Hierophant, you and I. And when you get married, it's your partner, you, your partner, and the clergyman, whomever you will have officiate your your ceremony, right? So it's like um, the joining together. So it's like the universe is really trying to join together you and someone else, whether you know this someone else or they're still yet to be, you know, um, known yet to for you to meet them. 
uh, it's like th this card says an advice. It says uh, the universe is trying to bring together uh, two completely different people, you know, trying to find a balance there because there is friction. So a lot of times this card can, can talk about something or someone you already know because the Hierophant governs the fives of the Tarot. So there has been misfortune, upset, disappointment, maybe even abuse or misuse here, ulterior motive. There's been someone who's left out in the cold, ignored, unacknowledged, just um, shunned, if you will. There's been conflict. There's been fighting between you and someone else and just no mediation, no, no chill, no resolve. So it's like the universe is really trying to maybe work on you two separately and then bring you back together. The, t the temperance card in your spirituality, the temperance talks about, you know, I like this. It was uh, researching this card the other day and it says getting your life together, you know? So Aquarius and spirituality is like, you know, maybe you could be getting your life together. You know, you're coming from doing a lot of work in your career in finance, um, trying to mediate a situation between you and someone that you love, that you like, that you want to be with. The universe is trying to help you with that. So it's like getting your life together all together with the temperance card and your spirituality. Temperance says that, you know, the universe wants you to learn balance. You say, okay, yeah, that's easy. I know balance. No, they want you to learn balance in every facet of the word. Some of you, you go too far to the left, you go too far to the right. Some of you are too giving, some of you are too stingy. Some of you, you know, so it's about finding balance, that perfect uh, medium, that perfect, that alchemy. Know which to pull from, which uh, energy to pull from, that feminine or that masculine energy. It's about learning compassion and justice. Two words that, you know, they can be cliche if you don't really kind of dive deep into them. Compassion comes in when you understand that you have the right, you have the full on right to verbally, maybe even physically assault someone, but you have the compassion to understand that maybe this person doesn't understand uh, what they are doing, what they have done. So, you know, I want to be a compassionate enough to walk away because I have the right and I can annihilate this person either physically or verbally. But the universe wants you to learn how to find compassion in those times. It's not always about acting on that raw emotion and moving in it because you're always going to find yourself on the apologizing side because you're going to take it as far as it can go back to going too far to the left or going too far to the right. So in spirituality, the universe wants you to find balance. And for some of you, they want you to find balance in terms of justice, doing what is right, being fair, stop being unfair. Don't subject people to unfair treatment. You don't know the, the ramifications of that is karma. You know, it, it, what you put out is going to come back. I'm not saying that this is what you do, Aquarius. F find resolve or find re find where it resonates for you. You know, if it doesn't resonate at all, great. Then you're an earth angel. Whoop de doo But, um, you know, th this is what the universe wants you to, to kind of focus in on in terms of temperance. Temper your emotions because you have the capacity everybody does has the capacity to take it as far as it can go and that's going to and that's sometimes that's you can't come back from that find ways to salvage connection so you think of a salvage yard if you go to a salvage yard if you've ever been to one or if you ever thought about you know what is that it's where there is junk but sometimes in the midst of that junk there's something valuable. It's something of use. So you got to find where it is of use for you to keep this connection together, for you not to throw it away as junk. So you got to find where you can salvage this connection or connections. And this could be a romantic, platonic business, whatever. But to fly off the handle all the time and be known for that, mm, you know, you got to think about that. 
And then also um, the adverse of that, to be so self-sacrificing, willing to lay yourself on the tracks or for people who wouldn't even look at the tracks for you, let alone lay themselves on there for you. So, you know, it's about not going too far to the left for people, not going too far to, too far to the right. Uh, give just enough, give what you are giving, give unto, you know, what, uh, what is that? I, I can't think of the scripture, but you know, what is, can't think of it. anyway. Uh, I'm pretty sure somebody will get down in the comment section and, and tell me what the scripture is, but, um, give what, what is given unto you, you know, and if it, it and if it is a volatile situation, um, you, you always have the option people, you always have the option to just walk away. And that's what you need to learn here. For some of you, let's leave Aquarius with a bit of advice. What is the advice for Aquarius? Aquarius, it just looks like the universe is trying to get you together together because they have plans for you. Um, what is the advice for Aquarius? What is the advice for Aquarius? The Nine of Swords. Don't worry, things are turning out. Oh, well for you some of you your sleep pattern is off let me see why your sleep pattern is off some of you you waking up um you're going to bed really late you're waking up late you're going to bed really early you're waking up too early you're waking up in the middle of the night some of you you can't stay asleep why is aquarius i knew it i knew it i knew it, I knew it. Let, me, let me show you why your your sleep patterns are off because you're about to get what you really want and you know it, you feel it. You're like a, a kid at Christmas, you know, waiting for Christmas day. Oh, so there's a bit of anxiety. It's like, um, your mind just won't shut off. You also are, um, maybe you're thinking about some things that happened in the past. It's like you're getting to a, a very high, uh, psychological state of being like you can process what happened there, whatever there was like almost, you know, to the T accurately to the point where, um, I, it, there's like an overthinking, you know, um, you might be processing a lot, um, a lot of thinking, overthinking, over exaggerating, you know, overdoing it. Um, you're just excited also here. Um, some of you are content with what you're doing. Some of you, your patterns are off cause you're, you're eating. You're eating good. I mean, whatever you want. You're eating, you're drinking well. Um, maybe you're eating some things that keep you up at night with the nine of cups here because you're experiencing a level of luxury. Also, you do what you want. You know, you can make your own schedule for some for some of you. So it's like your, your sleep pattern is off because there's a lot of freedom here with the nines here. All right, Aquarius, that's a good problem to have, right? But your sleep pattern is off. Some of you work at night. Some of you, your eating patterns are off too. Um, you need to get some uh, regimen happening, some uh, routine. Um, all right. And then the Six of Swords, very nice. Aquarius, it says move on from that uh, that heartbreaking, self-sabotaging energy. You, you sabotaged the connection because you were willing to lay yourself on the tracks when another person wasn't even willing to look at the tracks for you, you know? Um, so who, who really was the bad, per not bad person, but who really was the culprit here? Um, it says move on from previous hurt from uh, old relationships, make sense of it. Cause in the six of swords, you make sense of moving on. It just makes sense to move on from this. If I keep harping on this, if I keep going over this, what it, I mean, I'm stuck. So I need, just need to move on. Some of you going to be moving on in shame. You know, because you didn't get what you wanted. You gave so much. Maybe other people know about it. Um, some of you moving on in shame because you didn't. Um, there, maybe there's like a cheating scandal. You knew that somebody was using you or other people knew. But it doesn't matter, Aquarius. Move on. Um, it looks like you, some of you are going to go on vacation. We are in the holiday season. You're going to you're gonna vacation. Um you could be vacationing with your children, maybe even a, um, a male partner. Uh, I don't know this. Okay. So this is ex-husband, uh, or ex whatever. Um, cause he's not a part of the family. Um, 
but he's going to become on the trip or he's going to be somehow involved in it. All right. So, um, there will be some male here involved in, um, you know, you and your children or child's, uh, vacation holiday season. And, you know, that's just a part of, uh, co-parenting sharing. I hope you are co-parenting never hold another parent back from the child. If they're not, you know, deviant, uh, if they're not, uh, you know, miss, miss, uh, treating the child, never hold them back. Look at them as free daycare. Yep. Go with your father, go with your mother. But, um, if, if they're not, you know, they're, if they're a good person. So, so anyway, um, some of you will be vacationing and moving on here and they're just in a better peaceful place. Okay. And you getting some resolve about, um, uh, this thing here. Some of you, uh, also staying up late at night and your sleep pattern is off because you're thinking about how much you gave and, and how you didn't receive back some of you are drinking too much some of you are eating too much some of you may be eating your emotions okay so make sure we aren't doing that um, get the help that you need talk to somebody get some expertise about what it is you can do to move forward all right last card of advice for the aquarius last card of it find some balance some harmony some peace with it ain't no resolve here you know you just can't resolve the fact that they would treat you like this look some people are un unfair okay unjust and, and that's just the 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 true uh nature of it i'm gonna do a series on compassion and justice all right so people will understand uh what's really going on out here in these streets all right so last card for my aquarius wow seven of swords um, so you go from nine, six, seven. Okay. Uh, I just heard, keep whatever you're doing, keep it to yourself. Somebody wants to talk to you too. Yeah. <laughs> they want to talk to you. They acting like they don't, they got some clarity about what you mean to them. Now, look, some of y'all know y'all dealing with a dusty t type of individual that you can't even trust. So this part of the reading might not be for you. Now, if you're dealing with somebody who, you know, maybe the situation just went bad because of, you know, um, maybe involvement of another person, you know, somebody just, uh, they just messed up, you know, it's something that they can come back from, then maybe this is for you. But if you're dealing with somebody who's just altogether untrustworthy, altogether a low life, altogether out to get what they can get from you uh they played you over and over and over and over again it's not for you all right so um yeah somebody wants to talk to you yep they want to come back to you they want to come back to you as the emperor i like it i like uh, it could be scorpio could be aries could be uh taurus yeah they definitely want reconciliation with you okay this could be somebody who has air in their chart gemini libra aquarius They've got clear. They've got clear because in their life they cut out distractions or distractions were cut out uh, by, by way of the universe. So now they understand what the connection really means to, to them, to you, why you met, why they met you and why you met them. They understand that you are very positive. You're their sunshine that with you, there is positivity. There is radiance. There is light. There is uh, transformation. They might want to present you with something. They might want to marry you, might want to marry you, might. I like how this person's energy is coming up. King of Swords, Emperor, King of Pentacles. They feel like they need to say something to you. They feel like they need to get you back because they're, they're losing you. Typically, you would have come back already. You would have said something. You would have conceded to them. You would have made concession for You would have uh, reached out to them. But things have changed. They also could be sensing that you're coming into a large sum of money, Aquarius, because you did the work, baby. This is good. Wow. They could be sensing your victory. I don't, but this isn't a, a malicious energy. It's almost like they were looking at you and saying, I know you could do it. Yep. They may even want to help you. They, this person definitely could want to marry you, but this is a very, this is macho man here, macho, macho man. You know, he's like, you know, getting this person to really talk about their emotions and their feelings and be, you know, you're not going to get that from them. You're going, they're going to express how they feel by way of their actions. Okay. 
So that's the type of person you're dealing with here for some of you. Some of you, if you know you're dealing with a low life, please don't think this is for you because I don't like to give you false hope. Also, the, the best thing that you can ever do is get a personal reading with me, with any reader, you know, if you are just unsure um, so that you can gain clarity and you aren't like, yes, my man is coming back and he's going to propose to me and we're going to be so great. Well, you know, that man wouldn't buy you a, a dollar burger off the dollar menu. You know, it, it, no, not him um, or not her, you know. So anyway, Aquarius, this is what I have for you. Somebody is holding on to you, baby. They ain't letting it go. Um, they got some real clarity about who you are. This was a relationship that was unrealized, meaning that you guys didn't go to girlfriend and boyfriend status. Like you didn't sit down and have to talk. Or maybe you did. Or maybe you treated each other like girlfriend and boyfriend. But at the same time, there's a lot of falsehood, a lot of lies. Somebody just wasn't truthful about it. They may have looked at you in that girlfriend, boyfriend light, but at the same time, they weren't able to live up to what that really meant. And so now they want to come back as the emperor. So they want to make something real, you know? All right. That's what I have. Aquarius, go over to the website, get your own reading there. The reading, the Black Friday sale has started. Get your own reading if you are confused. Um, some of you are worried about money here, but the money is coming, baby. Um... All links are below. Catch me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also go over to the website, book your own reading there. The Black Friday sale has started. If you are a member to the website, um, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, bye.